Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to my channel for another video. So in today's video, it is going to be another girl talk. So I got my wine, I got my glass and let's go ahead and pull up and get this girl talk started. All right. So in today's video, I want to talk about kind of a serious topic and a thing that a lot of women have to go through and that's talking about birth control and my one month update with being on the depo, the depo Provera shot and kind of like my first month experience being on it. Um, so just to give you guys a little bit of a background, um, I got on the depo shot because birth control pills were not working for me. And the whole reason why I got on birth control in the first place was because um, I just had really, really bad periods. I would cramp really bad. There would be a really heavy flow and um, they just made me sick. And so I really just wanted something to help with those, make the cramps a little bit less. Um, and then some uh, birth control pills actually help with cystic acne, um, which is something that I was suffering from. So it helped with like cystic acne for me. So while being on the birth control pill, they recommended um, one called Malanessa, which was a birth control pill. For me, my experience with that is looking back on the old pictures of me from back then, I can tell now that I definitely had serious weight gain beyond on it. And that was one. It made me so stinking sick, like so stinking sick. Um, I would literally take it and then the next morning or a few hours later be throwing up. And it was to the point where like, you know how like when you get like pull it and like you throw up a lot to the point you're throwing up acid. Well, I was doing that with the birth control pills. I was literally throwing up acid and it was the most terrible feeling. Because then after doing all that throw up, I would have a headache. For at least another three four hours it was just it was a very miserable feeling and even if i didn't actually physically throw up i would still feel that nauseousness and feel like my stomach was turning and just have that really bad headache and just not want to do anything i tried doing it with a combination of food like taking the like taking a pill then eating some food or eating some food then taking a pill no matter what i still threw up sometimes there was only a few times where it actually did help me to the point that i didn't throw up so with the depo i got that in like october 15th ish of this year um right now we're in november today is november 13th um so my first week the first two days even like literally that night after getting the double shot i was just hot like it would be a 64 66 degrees in the house and i would still be like i'm on fire like sweating my body was actually hot to the touch like i was just very hot and i thought maybe it's just you know the medicine working in me i i, I don't know um so that's what happened first during that first week kind of like at the end of the week because i got out on like a wednesday so by like even monday of the following week or like saturday of that week um i started to have really bad attitudes like i was just like not having it don't like no anything that i had been wanting to say or anything like how i really felt about something it was just coming out it was like i'm sorry this is what it is this is how i feel about the topic and yeah so um a lot of people didn't take that too well because i'm not known to be a very blunt person and that's how it was coming off very blunt of me so then we get into week two so in week two i'm trying to think about it um week two was pretty much the same um i would say that in that time period my anxiety started to happen but it wasn't that bad yet um so my anxiety was more like 
I felt it coming, but it was kind of like I laughed it off because actually right when my anxiety started to happen, it was actually around the time of like Mental Health Awareness Month. And um, there were just people just like talking about their mental health. And at one point I did used to get panic attacks and anxiety. And I used to have really bad social anxiety when I was like, during my, like from my sophomore year of high school to like, I would say my junior year of college, I had really bad social anxiety. And a lot of people don't know this about me. A lot of people think that maybe I just was, I was very shy, or I guess you would call that shy because of the social anxiety. Um, but a lot of people just thought I was like maybe mean or I just had my group of hands and I didn't want to like network and be like super social. Um, but no, it was actually really bad social anxiety that it was like, hindering me for wanting to talk to other people because I was more or less worried like what are they saying about me what are they thinking about me when I walk away um so it was really bad and so I started to notice that it was happening again the first place that I noticed it was happening at was at work um it would be certain instances where it was like I would have to talk to people um because I'm in the management field and I would be nervous to talk to them and it was like the same people that I'm always around that I have no problem being with but it was like being in front of 30 people in a group all of a sudden that made me super anxious again and so like I kind of laughed it off and I was telling people I was like oh I think my social anxiety is starting to get <laughs> and I kind of laughed it off but I knew in my head like oh God, I hope this isn't because of the depth though that I'm starting to get a little bit of social anxiety again. So that was the first thing that started. Um, and then going, so the social anxiety was still happening while I was also being like a at the same time. So it was really weird. It was a lot going on. We come into week three, which is the week that just passed. Um, this was ultimately the hardest week for me. Um, this past week was really hard because I noticed that the social anxiety got really bad to the point that I started to enter depression. Like for me personally, it kind of felt like there was another part of me that was trapped in a sense. Like, Devil, I feel like it's like the devil. My dog's back there acting a fool. But devil for me was like the freaking devil. And I, I can't wait for this to be over. But um, what started to happen for me is that I just started to feel trapped. And it was like a sense of, I wanted to say, like, sometimes I wanted to be like, no, don't say that. Or yes, say that. Stand up for yourself. Or no, don't say that. That might be a little bit mean. And it was like, I couldn't do that. It was just like my emotions were so high and they were so built up that it was like they they came out before I could even stop them. And it's like, excuse me. And a lot of people would be like, you know, control it. Why aren't you able to control your emotions and stuff like that? People really close to me. And it was like, I'm trying to and I physically can't and I feel like with that it made me enter depression more because I felt like it was a losing battle for me it was like I'm trying to be this nice person I'm trying to control myself I'm trying to understand what's going on with my body understanding if this is depo if this is if this is like just me um and it was just ooh, and it started to get really, 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 really tough. Um, and, it, and it's hard because I have had a rough year. So I started to get the maybe it's because you had a rough year and stuff like that. And it's like, no, I know it's not because I know this isn't the normal me. The normal me would be able to handle this. It's this medication it, it like just literally makes your emotions 10 times higher. And for me, I'm already a Libra. So I already have this, you know, point of me that likes to overthink every situation. Imagine that plus something that makes you act on impulse as well. It's like you're, you're overthinker and you're impulsive at the same time. 
A lot of people say that depo is a lot like being pregnant and that you literally get the same symptoms and emotions as a pregnant woman gets. So if a pregnant woman can like be super emotional all the time, um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be the same thing for her on depo because she's literally having hormones injected into her body. And so it's, it's a lot to take in. It's not her normal hormones. Her body is getting used to it. Her body is going to react a certain way to it. It might be good. It might the be same. like even some of the symptoms, it's the same as pregnancy. I, I have really bad nausea. I have headaches all the freaking time. Um, and I like get morning sickness. Some mornings I wake up and I'm sick and I want to puke and I, I can't. I just end up feeling nauseous all day or like half the day during the morning time. But it's like I get that same sickness. Um, what else? Like a stomach pains and it won't be like actual cramps. They'll just feel like they're stomach pains. And us ladies, we know the difference between a menstrual cramp and like a stomach cramp. It like it literally feels like a stomach cramp. Um, so it was just a lot of those things mixing in. And um and for me, it was very tough because I kind of felt like nobody was really in my corner um, this past, like, when I was going through that stage. Um, and so it really sucked. <laughs> I think that I didn't express myself well enough. Well, I tried to. I will say I did try to. But I don't know if I expressed myself well enough to for them to understand everything that was going on with me. Um, but, yeah, all I can say is for anyone watching this video, like, just understand that they're going through a rough part. They're going to be, they might be mean. They might like irritate the mess out of you. They might be freaking crazy, but it's not them truly being crazy. It is all those extra hormones injected into their body that are making them act that way. And the last thing you want to do during that time period is be away from that person because that person needs you the most during that time period. Just like a pregnant woman really needs that person with them the most during that time period is the same way because your body is going through a lot of changes now we are in week four this month um this week has been a little bit better i'm almost through the week um i will say the first two days were still kind of hard i still had days where you know i would wake up be fine and have all this you know energy and stuff like that and then i would have other moments where i just felt really low and kind of to express that a little bit more, I knew that it was true depression because like I'm normally generally a person that has like a lot of motivation to do things. But during that time period, it's like all I wanted to do was sleep. I would get home and I would be so drained. It felt like the life had been sucked out of me and all I wanted to do was sleep. And it was even to the point where, like, even when I would wake up and be like, okay, like, let's get stuff started, it would almost feel like there was, like, this extra weight on my chest that was kind of like, you know, just, like, lay here. Also, TMI, but I feel like it was also due to the fact that I started my period. At the time that my normal period would have been over, I noticed that I'm getting a little bit of myself back. So, I'm a little bit happier you know, I'm talking to people again. I have my confidence and stuff like that. Again, I have more energy to get things done. The thing I kind of want to talk about is coping with all of this. So, different ways you can cope with it. A lot of people say that you don't look for how to deal with things through other people. But for me, I feel like if you do have a significant other in their understanding of what they're, of what, you're going through definitely talk to them um the last thing i would hate is for something like this to ruin you guys social relationship especially if you're watching my youtube video because i'm giving you guys all these warnings and these heads ups if you want to be on the devil or if you are on the devil um so definitely just kind of express what's going on you as ladies um express what's going on in your body um to your significant other and kind of explain the changes and stuff like that from the jump um, that way they kind of know what to look for. And um, and if you see that a lot of these are going on for you, start to think about other um, maybe methods that might work. 
um, if the depot is something that isn't going to work to help you guys keep a healthy relationship and to help you have a healthy mental life as well and to be a healthy person because having a bad mental health is not anything good for you. Um, the next thing I would say is um, and try to do things to keep your mind off of it, even if, um, and for like, if a significant other is watching this video, help them to get out of the house. <laughs> if they're being trapped in the house, all they're gonna wanna do is continue to sleep and, and continue to do all those bad habits. The next thing I would say is if you don't have anyone around, if you don't have a significant other, find things that you love. For me, what's been helping me is just like, I'm a very creative person. So I've been really um, focusing on painting and listening to music, watching a lot of YouTube videos, because that's something that um, gets my mind off of anything going on with me. And I just kind of focus on what's in front of me. So that really helps me. Um, so anything that can kind of get your mind off of what's uh, off of what's going on with you so your mind kind of doesn't go all over the place is what's going to help you to stay sane. Um, the last thing might be writing in a journal. Um, I started to get to a point where I did feel really, really low and I thought maybe writing in a journal might help me, um, just to kind of express my thoughts on paper because, you know, maybe I could look at it the next day and be like, you know what, that was really silly. Like, why was I so upset about that? And I mean, it was also good because I can embrace how I felt too and kind of like figure out what could I do to fix it or, you know, how could I think, how can I go about expressing that to that person if it was something that I was dealing with with a person? You know, writing it down on paper, taking a second to think about it um, before acting, was, it um, truly helped me. And so that was another thing. Um, also, hit up your girls, go out, do fun things, you know, talk to people. You don't even have to talk to people about what's going on with you, but anything that's just going to keep your mind off of what's going on right in front of you and keep your mind from wanting to go all over the place it's just super beneficial okay guys well that is it for this one month update of me being on the depot shot i will come back with a two month update and finally my three month update and then kind of like my process for getting off of it so stay tuned for more videos of me you guys are more than welcome to come on this journey with me subscribe if you're new to my channel that way you can see more content from me more girl talk videos because y'all, I got a lot of things to share with y'all. So the videos are coming, this quality is coming, and yeah, let's let's go ahead and um, join the A game because we over here join join the AKA game, okay? Because we over here and we gonna take over. All right, all right. See you guys in my next video. Bye.